Brian, thank you. So anything is possible if you just dare to dream. That is the message behind Tell Me Your Dreams. It is the first ever children's picture book by author and Broadway actress Amanda Klutz. And she's joining us live this morning to share her inspiration behind this heartwarming story. Amanda, it is so good to have you here. Uh, I've got the book right here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I love Seattle. Oh, we love hearing that. We love you. So I, <laughs> I was just going through this. I mean, this book is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful story. It's beautifully illustrated. Talk a little bit about the journey to create this story, because I feel like there is a lot behind this here. <laughs> you know, the journey um, kind of happened organically. This was uh, a routine that Elvis and I were doing. We still do it where we, you know, cuddle up in his rocking chair and I sing him a song and we say our prayers. And then one night I just said, do you want me to tell you your dreams? And I just started creating this huge, big, fantastic dream that he got to go on as soon as he would let me put him in his crib. And uh, I just incorporated all the things that he loves, trash trucks and airplanes and choo-choo trains, the beach and a vanilla ice cream and I made this big dream up and then he loved it so much we just started doing it every night and he started interacting with me and um, it's just become our little ritual that we do. Oh, and I'm looking, I see you and your son in these photos here that we're showing from your Instagram page. I mean, that is such a great moment that you two can share together. Um, I do want to, I mean, I I, I know that you know you have dealt with the with the death of your of your husband Nick Cordero, um, that was very public, and I'm so sorry for your loss. But I know that that moment um, also it sounds like it inspired a lot of what's in this book as well. I mean, how has that helped in that in that grief journey? Oh yes, absolutely. I mean, I'm, you know, as a as a mom that now is raising their son all alone, I'm just constantly thinking and trying to you know, create ways that Elvis can connect with his dad. Mm -hmm. And that isn't easy, obviously. I mean, Elvis was so little when Nick got sick. He was 10 months old, so he didn't really get any time with his dad here on Earth. So uh, I, in these dreams, I said that he got to meet up with his dad mm -hmm. and they would go on this adventure together and that uh, it would be his special time to meet up with Dada and do things and create memories. Um, because listen, I've had beautiful dreams of people People that I've lost in my life. Mm -hmm. So I feel like why not, uh, you know, inspire our children to hopefully see those people that they've lost in their life, in their dreams and go on adventures with them and do fun things. And in the morning, you can tell, you know, everybody about what you did. I love that you said that too, because I think a lot of people who have and dealt with grief and loss have had dreams like that as well. I, I, I feel like you're doing something really important with this story, um, that maybe you're helping kids also talk about loss and, and talk about grief and, and also find a beautiful way to express that as well. I hope so, because, you know, listen, I think that we, if we keep our grief in and, you know, all those feelings, it just, it eats you alive. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you get, you get caught up in your own thoughts and mm -hmm. it stops you. And so I feel like the more we can talk about it and share our stories, you know, you find that community, you find that support, and then you end up feeling less alone and less sad because you know that there's people around you that love you and want to support you. Oh, well, Amanda, thank you so much for being with us. It really is such a beautiful story. And we appreciate you being with us this morning. By the way, the book is available wherever books are sold. Thank you.